But anyway, I want to talk to you about several things. The water pistol with vodka in it is pretty awesome. Yeah. What kind of vodka is that? Goose. Nice. I do um, what most rappers or performers don't do. Because I think it's fucking hilarious. I do songs that you guys don't know at all. It's a kind of a different route than most people would do. Yeah. I, um, I, I'm fine with doing shows where people actually don't. If I chose to do a show, I, I would choose to do a show where no one had actually heard any of the songs, which I've definitely done. Because um, I think it's, it requires something different. It requires you to be an actual performer um, and getting out on stage. And I think it's great. To do that and do songs that people know and people love, and it's a totally different feeling than going out there and kind of flying blind, you know, mm -hmm. and being like, I want you guys to enjoy this because you enjoy, you're enjoying the music and you're enjoying it in the moment, and, uh, and it's something new. And um, I'm always comfortable doing that because it's not necessarily a, you've heard it on the radio or it's on the videos or, you know, it's fucking fun. Everything is always, uh, you know, practice and, and uh, see what people like and see what they don't um, and see what works for me and Len on stage and see how we can react to it. And we never do the same show twice. I think we only did like uh, three songs, maybe? At the most. Two from Cake of Death. And we normally... Uh, in a set, uh, I don't know, it, it ranges from here to there, but maybe uh, three to five. Um, it's a really ginormous mixing process for us. Uh, it's not even, see, he's laughing. Because there's, you know, songs have... 96 tracks of vocals. He's not kidding. 96 tracks of vocals? Like there's songs, you know, that are, you know... And two tracks are just something going... <laughs> My thing is, is taking a time where it needs to be uh, sounding like a good record. And it's not necessarily, I don't care about the radio. I don't care about, um, you know, this is coming out on a mixtape. Uh, it's not that. It's um, making things sound right for their placement, whether we're licensing something or we're doing something else, or you're listening in your headphones versus your car, versus your stereo, versus your computer. Um, there are albums that I grew up listening to that sounded amazing, whether I transferred it to my headphones, or years later I was like, oh shit, I didn't notice that everything was all the way on the left side. And, you know, it's the chess music era, of Minnie Riperton or the Beatles or everything, where shit is panned and it's done right. You don't realize that you love those records uh, because they sound a certain way. And they're actually recorded differently and mixed differently. Um, I wanted to make that kind of record for that kind of person where it's timeless. And if you go back to it in 20 years, you can discover something that makes it that much better. Um, so not looking at things as this is just for right now, and it's what's popular, and it's what's trendy. Uh, you know, making good music for people for years to come. I'm, I'm comfortable with putting it out when I'm ready to put it out, and also not putting it out all at once. Um, because people have the attention span of gnats, pretty much. And even if you put out an amazing album, you know, in the next two weeks, they're like, Okay, so what else? Oh my God, that was so classic. That is so old school. I'm like, yeah, it was fucking January. Is January fucking old school now? What the fuck? So, yeah, I think taking your time versus instant gratification is also a good thing. 
And if nobody's actually doing that, then pace the audience. I think we can take the time to do shit. So we could put out a single right now and then put out the next single months, months later and keep writing it. If it's timeless, then it's fine. If it's for right now, then good fucking luck. Don't crush me, nigga. Just try. I know I'm wrong and right. Uh -huh. At the same time, both on the dark and light. Come on, they say like me, everything to live. Uh -huh. At the same time, I got.